Dear students, welcome to the online classes of Animal Biotechnology. Today I will discuss about the Biosafety Guidelines of Government of India. So I will discuss about four committees uh, of Government of India who implement the recombinant DNA guidelines in India. These committees are RDAC, IBSC, RCGM and GAC. Apart from that, I will also discuss about the IAEC that is Institutional Animal Ethics Committee. So first, the Biosafety Guidelines. So actually government of India adopted uh, these guidelines to avoid the risk of genetically engineered organism on environment and public health. So aim of uh, the biosafety guidelines are regulating recombinant DNA research with organisms that have least or no adverse effect, minimizing the possibilities of occasional release of GEOs from the lab and banning the release of GEOs if they are supposed to cause any potential risk into our environment. So in India, these guidelines uh, were proposed by Department of Biotechnology and its name is the Recombinant DNA Safety Guidelines and it was uh, imposed in 1983 and amended in 1990. These gu guidelines deals with the set of rules of production, use, import, export uh, and storage of hazardous organism. So in India, the RDNA guidelines has been uh, implemented through four committees that is Recombinant DNA Advisory Committee that is RDAC, Institutional Biosafety Committee IBSC, Review Committee on Genetic Engineer that is RCGM and Genetic Engineering Approval Committee that is GEAC. So to perform the certain gene manipulation experiment, workers need or scientists need to acquire the permission of this review committee and approval of the committee to work on the following uh, things like uh, if you are working in toxin gene cloning if you work on cloning of gene for vaccination production or vaccine production cloning of mosquito or tick uh, or <coughs> and tick dna cloning of antibiotic resistant gene uh, or if you are working in cloning of oncogenes or if you are working in gene therapy or hereditary disease so you need to uh, get uh, permission from these committee to work on these particular type of work so first is recombinant dna advisory committee that is rdac uh, it organized or it organized by the department of uh, biotechnology government of india under the ministry of science and technology it provides the regulatory control to implementation committee so it is the regulatory body of various implementing committees. So, RDAC actually uh, calls some meetings uh, which help to evolve long term policy for research and development in recombinant DNA research. It formulates suitable safety guidelines and it trains the researchers and technicians about the hazards and risk of recombinant DNA research techniques. Second is Institutional Biosafety Committee or IBSC and this IBC is a small committee established by the uh, institutes which are engaged in recombinant DNA search. So our university is also uh, working on recombinant DNA technology. So uh, we have IBSC committee in our university as well in, Kumo, in Bhimtal campus. Uh, so uh, IBSC monitors recombinant DNA research activity at institutional level. The committee is formed of head of the institution and three or more scientists, a medical officer and a DVT nominee person. So role of the IBC, it sends the report to RCGM regarding the uh, observance and safety guidelines on accidents, risk and or on deviation of, if any. It reviews the uh, re uh, requirements of guidelines for safety of new projects. It allows some person to take training on biosafety and research activity. Third is the review committee on genetic manipulation that is RCGM. Uh, it is also functioning under the DBT and uh, it is formed of uh, various uh, institutes or various, various research in, uh, establishment in India like uh, it is formed of the DBT, ICMR, ICAR, CISR and DST. The main function of uh, RCGM is uh, to establish the 
procedural guideline manual for the regulatory process with GEOs. It review the risk potential of GEOs in the laboratory and field experiments. And these are other uh, functions of uh, RCGM. Fourth one is uh, GAC or Genetic Engineering Approval Committee. And this is a higher level committee working under the Department of Environmental and Forest. It has full power to permit large scale genetically engineered organism, recombinant DNA products, uh, R&D of uh, recombinant DNA technology, industrial production of recombinant DNA products, and release of genetically engineered organism in environment and field use. So it is the top level committee uh, among these four committee. So it gives approval for import export transport production and sale of genetically engineered organism it release of geo from the laboratory to in environment it also uh, the function of uh, gac to release the geos from the laboratory to the environment if they are safe now the uh, another topic that is uh, institutional animal ethics committee so these days uh, most of the experiment or before the clinical trial of any drug uh, that drug must be evaluated or tested in the animal model so there is a need of ethics committee so as you know animals are used for various experiment or for development of various medicines to develop uh, medicines to tackle with various uh, infectious disease so here you can see various uh, animals which are used for uh, animal study in the laboratory most of them are the rat and mouse and uh, you can also use some rabbit horses cat dogs or pigs apart from that some hamster monkey and langur models are also available for the various diseases so animal are animal in research are used for vaccination study anesthesia study to check the antibiotic effect and for the numerous medical treatments of various diseases so the, what is ethics uh, means uh, uh, some people uh, talk about the right of uh, animals so they are animal right activists and some people uh, treat animal as a uh, just to exploitation they just exploit the animals so there is a need of animal ethics and uh, animal ethics include animal rights animal welfare animal law animal cognition wildlife conservation and moral status of non-human animals so in 1965 uh, professor Bramble actually gave uh, this five freedom phenomena for animal or animal study. These five freedom are freedom from hunger and thirst, freedom from discomfort, freedom from pain, injury and disease, freedom to express normal behavior by pro providing sufficient space and freedom, uh, freedom from fear and distress. So these are the five freedom of animals should be provided in each and every institute or if you are working in animals you should follow these five f or five freedoms to animal so in animal experimentation as you know these animal experiments can be carried out for the discovery of various medicine and uh, or uh, vaccines so uh, scientists uh, uh, use many animals for their experimentation so uh, there is a regulatory body who can uh, control the experimentation of uh, on animals so there are some alternatives so committee can suggest these three are what are the three are meaning basically these are replacement reduction and refinement so we should follow these three are rules if you are working on the animal model so first is replacement means you have to replace the higher animals with lower animals 
or microorganism plant or eggs so alternatively live animals may be replaced with non animal models such as dummies or computer simulation replacing experiments on animal with alternative technique such as experimenting on cell culture instead of whole animal so we can uh, work on cell line before going directly to the animal model we can use uh, computer models uh, like bioinformatic model and these days we are using bioinformatics before testing any drug in the uh, animal model uh, we can study uh, some drug directly into into human volunteers and you can uh, also use epidemiological studies and their trend so you, you, you can replace uh, at least uh, some animals for the uh, for the study or for the study of various drug or vaccines second one is reduction so if it is impossible to replace any animal model at least we can reduce the number of uh, experimenting animals so we can reduce uh, the number of animals or number of experimenting animals by improving the uh, experimental techniques improving techniques of data analysis or sharing information with other researchers so we can reduce the number of experimenting animal this way third is refinement refinement means uh, uh, the experimental protocol to minimize pain or distress so in this way we can minimize uh, the pain uh, to the animal it is uh, possible uh, by using less in invasive techniques better medical care or we can provide better living condition to animal now indian act for the animal welfare actually government of india constituted this uh, prevention of cruelty to animal act in 1960 that is called pca 1960 it has one statutory body and one is subordinate body statutory body is consist of animal welfare board that is awbi and second is cpcsea that is committee for the purpose of supervision and control of experimentation on animals so in indian government uh, constituted this pca in 1960 and then government of india also constituted cpcsea and in 1998 the breeding of uh, and experiments on animals control and supervision rule was uh, also introduced and it was further amended in during uh, 2001 and 2006 so these are the historical developments of uh, animal uh, rights in india uh, so the committee for purpose of control and supervision of experiments on animal that is cpcsea so it uh, has some functions like it can uh, uh give the registration of, of some establishment like it can give registration to some animal houses uh in at institutional level selection and appointment of nominees in institutional ethical committee it approve the animal house facility in any institution or in any university it can give permission for uh, conducting experiments so so first the pca act or prevention of cruelty act 1960 so objective of this act is to prevent the infliction of unnecessary pain or suffering on animals as well as to prevent the cruelty to animal so animal welfare board of india established by the government of india to promote anim animal welfare generally and to protect animals from unnecessary pain and uh, suffering so an animal welfare board consists of chairman vice chairman secretary and other members so function of 
ए डब्ल्यू बी आर इट एडवाइस सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट रिगार्डिंग द अमेंडमेंट्स इट ऑल्सो एडवाइस गवर्नमेंट रिगार्डिंग रूल्स टू प्रिवेंट एन नेसेसरी पेन वाइल ट्रांसपोर्टिंग परफॉर्मिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड और इन कैपेटिविटी इट सजेस्ट गवर्नमेंट अबाउट डिसीजन ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ व्हीकल सो दीज आर द वेरियस फंक्शन ऑफ द एनिमल वेलफेयर बोर्ड नाउ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स सो पी सी ए एक्ट नाइनटीन सिक्सटी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क ऑन एनिमल्स फॉर सम एक्सपेरिमेंट्स यू हैव टू टेक अप्रूवल फ्राम और यूर इंस्टीट्यूशन फर्स्ट टेक अप्रूवल फ्राम द सी पी सी एस सी ए दैट इज कमिटी फॉर पर्पज ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड सुपरविजन ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन एनिमल्स सो सी पी सी एस सी एज कंसिस्ट ऑफ सम नॉमिनेटेड मेम्बर्स एंड नॉमिनेटेड मेम्बर्स कैन बी फ्राम आई सी एम आर आई सी आर सी एस आर एंड यूनिवर्सिटी सो टू मेम्बर्स ईच फ्राम दीज दीज इंस्टीट्यूशंस एंड five non official members are the person who are actively engaged in animal welfare activities and there are elected members also one is from lok sabha and one is member from the rajya sabha so the role of uh, this uh, cpc sea is to select and appoint the nominee in the iac and it give approval of animal house facility in the institution and these are other role of this committee now rights of cpc sea so it has right to en enter and inspection in any uh, institute it can prohibit the experiments of animal in any institute if uh, uh, in if in sub case कमेटी में अलाउ टू कैरी ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंट सब्जेक्ट टू सर्टेन कंडीशन एंड इट कैन टेक एक्शन इन केस ऑफ वायलेशन ऑफ दीज रूल्स सो दीज आर दी एक्टिविटी रिलेटिंग टू द एनिमल वेलफेयर इन इंडिया रेगुलेटरी बॉडी इज पी सी ए एंड दियर आर डेवलपमेंटल बॉडीज आर लाइक ए डब्ल्यू बी आई एंड एजुकेशनल things uh, can be carried out uh, through the works of seminar uh, by the institutional ethics committee now institutional ethics committee so institutional ethics committee can be uh, constituted at the level of institution and uh, so its objective is utilization of uh, co competent staff for the animal experiment performance with care and humanity so it, it can uh, control uh, the humanity and performance of uh, animal care and uh, it can uh, make sure that whether anesthesia within sia guidelines are uh, taking place or not by the uh, scientist at the institute so iac is a body comprising of a group of person recognized by registered by the C cpcsea Uh, to perform or uh, establish uh, which is constituted and operated in accordance with the procedure specified for the purpose for the committee now the function of iac uh, to achieve uh, designed objects to review and approve the research proposal of the scientists who are working on animal model in that institute Uh, for experiments on large animal the case is required to be forwarded to cpcsea in prescribed manner with recommend, uh, recommendation of iaec to monitor the research throughout and after the completion of the study to visit the animal house and labs to ensure the compliance with all regulatory requirements applicable rules and guidelines and laws the composition of uh, iac actually it is composed of the scientists in charge of animal facility a biological scientist two scientists from different biological disciplines uh, a veterinarian a scientist from outside of the institute a non scientific social worker and a nominee of cpc sea so 
the IAC is composed of these members. So our university also has institutional animal ethics committee in Bhimtal campus. So if you uh, or uh, if you uh, if you want to work uh, in animal model, you have to take approval from this IAEC of the institute. So how project uh, proposal are approved by IAC? So IAC actually uh, check the study rational number of animals, methodology, species, etc. So if uh, once they are satisfied by the methods, uh, they can uh, give approval to the to the particular project to use animal model, and uh, they can also uh, cut the number of animal model uh, by following uh, three R rules. That is. Uh, replacement reduction or refinement so if there is a possibility to replace the animal model with lower model or with animal uh, animal cell culture so the uh, committee can uh, cannot give approval if there is no possibility to replace then committee can uh, give approval to carry out the experiment on animal model so these are the some criteria to shortlist or to approve the, your project by the IEC. So that's all about uh, today's lecture. If you have any query, you can ask me. Thank you.